Welcome back money team, this is Mad Money Shot, sniffing out the Madden 25 cheese as always. In today's video, I'm going to give you guys my top 5 offenses and top 3 defenses to use in Madden 25. I'm going off of the stuff that I'm going to be focusing on throughout the year, so if you want to stick with me throughout the year, these are going to be the playbooks to use. Other than that, if you guys want to see more videos like this, please make sure to be subscribed or hit like button, let me know in the comment section, and let's get right into the video. Starting off with defense, and the first defensive ebook that I already put out is the Kansas City Chiefs. This is a defensive ebook I probably put out for like four years straight. It's typically one of the metas every single year and it's already available. Links in the description or the top pin comment. My offensive playbook will be available there too as I already have one for offense, one for defense. But let's go and let's get into why this playbook is so good. Uh, starting off, I mean they have a lot of 4-3 formations. The only one that I would really recommend using the most is the one that's, you know, semi-meta every single year and that's the 4-3 even 6-1. I think I first was one of the first people to put this out though going all the way back to uh, Madden 20 when it first came out. Nobody was using this when I first put this out because I remember everybody saying how bad it was and then by Madden 21 everybody was turned on to it so it only has six plays but you really only need three the cup for quarters the Sam will blitz and the Sam will blitz three those are probably the three best but definitely one of the best uh you know defensive plays every single year my personal pick though for the the, the formation that I use the most is the big nickel over G expect a defensive video about the big nickel over G pretty soon this is my favorite formation and it has been since last year also has the nickel over which is basically just like your traditional uh, you know, nickel 2-4. You have the nickel 3-3, another formation that's like semi-meta every single year. The dime normal, which I absolutely love. I know you've seen me, if you've watched this channel, you've seen me use this in videos before. Love the four defensive linemen, all the speeds you get on the field. You have a dime 2-3, which is essentially your dollar replacement. I don't know if they have any formation called the dollar anymore, but you can see it has the same plays. You have your same DB fire too. I'm sure that the spinner blitz is in here somewhere, but you have all that. And then you also have the quarter normal, another really good defense when it comes to speed. You guys might remember the under smoke play that I put out a long time ago and you have the 3-4 under which is really just one simple adjustment away from being a 3-4 uh, odd which is one of my favorite formations in the entire game as this like I said this is just one of the best defensive playbooks as far as versatility every single year and we're going to pick the next playbook uh, which really could be the Arizona Cardinals but a slightly better version in my opinion is the Atlanta Falcons which is something that I never thought I would have said last year is very unique it's one of the few playbooks that has the 3-3-5 penny which I know a lot of people are using in college football and I, like I said Arizona has that playbook that in their playbook as well but they also have the 4-3 even 6-1 once again the double mug another college meta that has been working in Madden for a very long time you guys should know that the mid blitz has been around for a very long time the nickel 2-4 the dime rush which is essentially the dime normal just with more defensive ends and you also have the 2-3-6 uh, which is you know basically a nickel 2-4 just you have a cornerback in at one of the linebacker spots which is really cool uh, you got the quarter normal once again which I just mentioned that the Chiefs very good and you have the actual 3-4 odd which is probably the best version uh, but, you know, like I said, you can make some adjustments to a lot of these through for packages and get the same looks. So definitely uh, a very good playbook there. Uh, moving on, the number one playbook, in my opinion, uh, that was my number one playbook last year. I think I only had two defenses at the beginning of the year, and it was the Chiefs and the Raiders. The Raiders is just all meta. As you have the even 6-1, the big nickel over G, the 3-3 odd, the 3-3 cub, and the 2-4 double mug. That's just bang, 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 just great formation after great formation. These are all metas to certain people. Depending on who you are in the world, you may think any one of these formations is the meta. The 3-3 cub has been meta for a very long time, and the 3-3 odd was oddly enough meta last year, and in my opinion, one of the best formations to use in college although they did pass this quite a bit in NFL because it was so broken last year. But it's still the best playbook, in one of the best in college, and it's still a very good formation. You also have the 2-4, which I mentioned in previous playbooks, the 2-3 sandwich, once again, your dollar, and then you also have a couple of 3-4s, including the 3-4 odd. But I barely skipped over one of these. I mean, the prevent and the cub and the bear, that's about it. Every single one of these formations is useful. There's not a wasted formation in this entire defensive uh, playbook, making this, in my opinion, like I said, the best. Expect this to be my next defensive ebook that I put out although all three of the ones I mentioned should have defensive ebooks eventually so be aware of that on the offensive side I'm gonna start off with the Chiefs once again because this might be one of the most creative and unique playbooks in the entire game and it's also my first ebook once again as the Kansas City Chiefs has been semi-meta for several years this has several uh, formations that are my favorite right now I form close maybe the meta iPhone formation under center running formation in the entire game you have the stretch and you have the PA tight end leak that's pretty much all you need 
but pretty much every single play here I use, with the exception of the stutter goes. That's probably the only play in this formation that's not very good, but this has been one of my favorite formations going back to last year. If you guys remember, I used this to death. Although one of my favorite formations this year is actually going to be something I never used before, and that's the shotgun tight open. I'm using this quite a bit right now in college football because I put a lot of work into this uh, in Madden, and it works the exact same way. One of the best plays in the entire game is the slot post, as this is a one-play touchdown in multiple ways against pretty much every deep route is it one play touchdown in this formation and it has a ton of great dink and dunk pass plays as well as this is probably my most used offense like i said right now in college football uh but this formation or this playbook rather really is all about the shotgun plays you can see there's so many shotgun plays this is not really big on versatility as it really only has one two uh three four formations outside of shotgun and single back but there's a reason for that this thing is loaded with shotgun plays it probably has the most tight slash bunch slash trio formations in the entire game and when it comes to creating you know space and explosive passing plays that's really what you need you need either a tight formation like a tight y off or uh, the tight open which i just mentioned or a trip formation which is going to be like your tray y flex which is you know been meta for a long time your tray y flex strong uh your your uh, i think i just skipped over another one there uh the the uh the tray open offset uh the trio halfback week it has so many trip formations so if you like trip formations this is probably the best play in the game because it probably has the most and then it has a bunch of tight and bunch formations as well uh which is you know really like i said that's really what it's all about the bunch y flex the bunch x nasty they even have a gun bunch y flex empty Next up, another playbook that's getting a lot of attention is the Miami Dolphins, and it's because it has a lot of new plays with a lot of new motions to kind of mirror uh, what they're doing in real life, where they're using a lot of motions pre-snap. And I think this playbook probably has the most. I think the Chiefs might be the second most, and the Texans might be the third most as far as plays that have new motions. Uh, you can see right here, I mean, number one, they add a lot of pistol formations, like the pistol tight wide off flex, uh, which is something you can see the motion plays right there. Uh, they have it a lot in the shotgun looks as well, but just the fact that they have four pistol formations, Pistol formations are great when it comes to running the ball and when it comes to running things like RPOs and uh, zone alert bubbles and stuff like that. They also have uh, the iPhone close once again, and they do have uh, the most important play, which is, like I said, the PA tie leak and the stretch. So that's something that you could use. They also have a very similar formation out of the iPhone Y off close, which is very similar. It has a lot of the same concepts. So lots of iPhone formations you can run under center. And if you go all the way down here, they also have a very good version of the strong close, although it's not not the best version this is one of the ones that's missing a few plays but it's still very strong so it's very good those two formations alone i from close strong close that's all you really need they do have a pretty good selection of single back plays like the deuce close the wing pair uh the wing close the tight way off very good uh there especially the the bunch x nasty very good under center running formations but once again lots of shotgun stuff and a lot of it's uh really either meta or former meta you have the tight way off the split close which is a very good uh you know i put out a lot of plays from that in the past a lot of bunch formations i got the empty bunch wide uh, they got the uh, the the bunch wide flex, uh, the regular bunch, which has been meta for a very long time, has one of the best plays in the game every year. The bunch wide trail or the bunch trail. I don't know. I skipped over so fast. I'm trying to do this quickly so the video's not too long. Uh, but they also have a bunch of trips formations and stuff like that. I would say you know their shotgun's not as good as Kansas City's in, in total, but they definitely have a little bit more versatility when it comes to things like the strong close. I would definitely add that and some of these pistol formations, as along with a lot of really good iPhone formations. I mean. Things like iPhone slot and slot close are also very good formations to run, especially if you like to run a lot of RPOs and stretches. Uh, you know, that's going to be the reason that this is just slightly higher than the Chiefs based off the fact that they basically just have a little more versatility. Next up, we have another playbook that's been semi-meta going back maybe like six years, and that's the Green Bay Packers. And they still have a lot of the same offensive formations that they've had, a lot of classic formations like the strong close, as they have one of the best versions that I already mentioned in the Dolphins playbook. They don't have the iPhone close, which kind of sucks, but they do have some uh, some really good replacements in the close flex and the wild close which i mentioned which is very close as far as uh you know the things that it can do with the exception of the pa titan leak which like i said is one of the most broken plays in the game then you get to uh some of these other uh shotgun formations this is probably why it's so high on the on the list is because it has some of the best shotgun bunch formations especially in the entire game the bunch strong offset the bunch wide the bunch te the bunch strong nasty that's four straight bunch formations and they have the best one in the entire game in the bunch tight end with the triple out which the pa boot over you guys should know all about those plays some of the most explosive plays in the game they have a lot of trips formations as well a lot of tight formations you got your uh your trips te you got your tray y flex uh your tight y off like i said lots of tight tight open i just mentioned in the chiefs one of my favorite offenses tight y off flex also very good 
plenty of under center single back formations as well as like you said once again another bunch formation bunch x nasty uh tight way off another tight formation wing flex close uh wing close and deuce close all very good under center single back formations as once again there's not a wasted formation in this entire playbook and you should expect to see me doing some stuff out of this playbook very soon and then last but not least, we have another playbook that's meta just about every other year, and that's the New York Jets. This playbook, I love. It's filled with classic uh, formations. There's so many former meta formations in here that still work really well. We got the iPhone close with the PA tight end leak and the stretch, like I was saying. That's a Niners staple. This is another team that hired a former Niners coach, so they're going to have a lot of stuff like that. And the strong close, another very good version of the strong close as well. Uh, they have a lot of really good under center stuff, like the deuce close, the wing pair, the wing, wing flex close, pretty much all of it. Not a waste of formation here, but when you get to, I mean, with the tight doubles, I don't want to skip over that. Another really good one, tight wild flex, another really good one. But I want to get to some of the metas in the shotgun, as the tight offset TE was so meta that they made it like impossible to find. Well, it's here and it's the full version. You got all the plays you used to have. You got the bunch open, which I'm not really too big of a fan of open or like, you know, when the bunch is too far away from the line of scrimmage, but you have a bunch there. Tight doubles, very good. The bunch, which like I said, this has been meta for so long that they've made a bunch of new versions of it. And this really has all the plays you want, including the deep corner, which has been meta for so long, a very good play. You have the Trey Y Flex, another former meta formation. Uh, you have the uh, split close, which like I said, that's that was meta going back to like Madden 18. Once again, Niner staple, two running back system. This one here though, I mean, it has some new plays like the motion halfback swing, uh, the motion uh, fullback cross screen. Uh, all these are like very new. Uh, the halfback rails are very good man coverage being play. Lots of new plays added to this. Motion wide flood there at the bottom. So lots of new motion looks to that. You got the empty bunch open, the bunch TE, which I already mentioned, one of the best in the entire game every single year. Triple out and PA boot over. One, both of them one play touchdowns against every single defense in the game going in multiple directions as this here is my pick for the number one playbook in Madden 25 and it'll probably be the next ebook that I put out. So be on the lookout for that. So I'm going to end the video there. Five offensive playbooks, three defense of playbooks let me know in the comment section which playbook you guys like and if you guys want to see more videos more tip videos about madden 25 i'll have them pop up on screen so just click the links and until next time thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below